Hi, let's talk about Immunome. It's a biopharmaceutical company that discovers and develops antibody therapeutics for oncology and reflection diseases. Since the market opened, it's up to 20%, and we check usually um, biopharmaceutical companies their drug pipeline. So we see latest news the cocktail that they have. AMMPCP01 is basically there's latest news so that it neutralizes the SARS CoV 2 Delta variant in preclinical testing. This is currently on the phase one, and I think this is actually, yeah. So, since that news were up, it has currently raised the volume to the 20 million, and basically, it's like 100 times more and the yeah, of course the stock price went pretty much up 20 percent currently and let's take on the the fundamentals so simple wall street shows that there's a lot of risk but on the snowflake it shows financial health five out of six earnings are forecasted to decline by an average of 15 percent per year for the next three years i think that's is basically the the research that they have and of course clinical stage and the biopharmaceutical companies many of them are unprofitable so in this and it's currently unprofitable not forecasted to become profitable over the next three years and volta share price over the past three months actually they had this spike in the yeah mid-february as usually biotech companies does and uh, yeah latest share price and events so they had this news about the the SARS-CoV-2 Delta variant uh, what it was the neutralize yeah this is on the pre preclinical stage anyway the market performance somehow it doesn't show any one year frame if we check on the Google so it shows 51% and Volta share price means that those who entered for example on the peak in mid February they're more yeah they're likely minus 50 minus 60% currently and uh, yeah those who entered previously for example 31st of December last year they were on the, yeah on the peak 300 50 percent but anyway those one year frame numbers are beating the the industry and its market long term time price volatility considers lowest because the simple wall street somehow does not have any this frame so for it actually does have one year so we see here or did they they i think they did yeah, I think they did IPO back in yeah second of October last year. So there's no one year frame available. That's why. Okay, that explains. So there's a few months under one year return, fifty one percent, and valuation side. Simple Wall Street and Tip Ranks does not have any price target, but I find a market watch $54 on average of the stock price target currently. So there is basically double potential to double the stock price. And that is pretty much good news for the company for the future. Anyway, future growth forecasted annual earning growth decreasing by 15 percent so that is the research money that they are investing and hopefully they if we check on the simple safe dividends they are pretty much investing from the shares outstanding so if the share price goes up the company have I have possibilities to print more money on the more possible price that will affect on the overall the 
the company's share price but it's good for the company not not so good for the shareholders earnings per share growth is forecasted uh, to growth but the decrease uh, basically through the next year past performance last year's earning growth decreased by 77 percent and the company is unprofitable financial health side we see that uh, debt to equity debt to equity ratio is 1.4 consider as satisfactory they do have a cash 36 million same as a little bit the same as the, the equity and depth 578,000. balance sheet looks green they're not paying dividends and insider transactions yeah so there's on the buyer side the company and the individuals so yeah la last time there was a broadband capital investment 26 of may so let's check it out 26 of may yeah that time they pretty much break even on that 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 deal ownership breakdown general public holding 56 percent insiders 18.9 institutions 70.8 and private company seven top shareholders we see many of the companies and individuals are decreasing but there's a there's on a both side actually but do we find here for example vanguard is here adding two thousand percent last reporting holding date 31st of march we see here blackrock as well 57 percent and as well as 31st of march this is highly volatile but basically if they would would go through the this phases uh, on the drop the uh, drug pipeline and they continue to work with those these products so i think there's a high potential that it's going to going to be the same numbers as we saw and also the the stock price target what we saw in the market watch basically in the submission plan for this quarter uh, already shown them to neutralize cdc variants of concern in preclinical stage so if this moves forward with high successful rate definitely it, it could raise to the to this price target that we see here in the market watch Biopharmaceutical that utilize its human memory B cell platform to discover uh, and develop first in class antibody therapeutics uh, announced today that its three antibody cocktail has demonstrated potent neutralizing activity against the source SARS CoV 2 Delta variant in the preclinical. Yeah, if this continues to, to be good, we see the we see good news for the company and next END filing due late second quarter and uh, early uh, yeah third quarter and investing.com summary of the stock for long-term investors as a buy thanks for watching this video subscribe to the channel like the video and see you in a future one